Hello everybody, Cooper here and welcome back to another episode of the Steve Smith Career Mode here on Cricket 24. We're going to be facing some spin. Choose first ball up in this one day match up against Surrey. We are currently three for 97 coming to the crease. Uh, we have batted first and I do not like our chances against this spinner and we've just ran up Pajara. Oh, it's not good. Not a good start to the match at all. Oh, this is going to be an ugly video. I can already tell. Jamie Overton, twin brother of Craig Overton, really not happy with how we've started. We've not even scored a run yet. Speaking of which, we've just scored our first run. So we'll get two. We'll come back for the second. It's actually gone for four, so that was a good result. There's a shot through mid-wicket. If I can get the ball down there. Jeez, we've gone for it again. Admittedly, that fielding wasn't as good as the first go around. Um, but we've taken another risky single. Mariety... Play straight, I reckon, is the go here. We'll leave that one first up. Because I don't want to be hitting it to any of these guys. If he bowls straight, that would be good. Perfect. No. Oh. Why is he not taking the bails off? I thought I'd gotten that away just enough, but clearly have not. Jeez, we are having real problems here with the spinner. Not a great start to the video. I'm thinking we might have to hit over the top of the offside. Why is he not taking the bails off? We were definitely out of our crease there. I'm going to take a step back. But four dot balls to start the over. This has not been exactly classic Steve Smith, but that is a nice shot. We're going to get two for our effort. There we go. Lofted shot over point. That'll run away to the boundary for four. Have a look at this again on the replay. Just sort of threw the hands at it. Oh, there's a little bit of a glitch in the matrix there, Smithy. Not really sure about that. They've put a man back on the fence now. They've got two men back on the leg side. Down the ground would be nice. And that is exa exactly where we go. Short boundaries here at the oval, straight. But we pick up our fourth boundary, I believe, or maybe our third boundary. Sort of keeping the strike away from Rollins at the moment. We might actually get him on strike here. We'll give him a ball, ball or two. We'll take the single while the ball is straight. Take the single off Mariety. I was thinking about a second, but I don't really feel like running out anybody else. Another fast bowler, McCurr. Can't say I've heard of you. Third man's looking good. Down the ground as always. And that's exactly where we go. Haven't timed it well, but we'll get the single. Jeez, Rollins has not really done a lot of scoring. And when I say not a lot of scoring, he hasn't done any scoring. Oh, I want to come back for the second, but we're not going to make it. Because I'm thinking if we can get 275 within the game, um, but even I feel like that's probably a bit short. No run there. But we've got to remember we've got the power play for the last 10. So that's the other thing we do need to be mindful of. Because normally I, when I play cricket captain, uh, not cricket captain, cricket 24, I'm uh, the opening batsman. And we have got that quite fine. And it's gone for four. But yeah, normally I'm the opening batsman and I don't get to bat in the last 10 usually because I'm usually out at that point. But they've closed that gap up straight away. Actually, didn't really... Would have gone through the middle of that gap anyway. So we might do a block and run here. Get Rollins on strike for the last ball of the over, and we'll see if he can do something magical. 
top all perfect. Um, see, I wouldn't mind facing the majority of the balls here. No, we're not going to run that. Yeah, I wouldn't mind facing the majority of the balls here. Because I just think that if Rawlins going at 5 of 20, and we're going at a runner ball, I feel like us going at a runner ball can get us a decent score, whereas Rollins and the batsmen that are going to come after him are probably not going to get us there. That's gone really fine again. That's probably gone through slips. We'll get the four more runs. Now they've put in a short square gully. Again, not much of a change because the field wouldn't have affected that. Oh, we are in trouble with that hits. Oh, I've called it early, saying that we're in trouble, but I think we might be okay. Oh, actually, I think we're all right. Oh, actually, we might be out. Yeah, we're out. Well, after running out Pajara, we've run ourselves out for 29, and we're currently 5 for 137. We are in a lot of trouble. We get over... Oh, wow, we tail really wagged at the end there. Um, but yeah, they chased down within 40 overs, just over 40 overs. Ugh, not ideal. Okay, let's try this again. Warwickshire at Edgebaston. Um, our home fixtures um, have us playing at the SCG, so I've just picked Warwickshire's home ground for this one. So I hope you guys don't mind that. Um, I did for a moment consider playing at North Sydney Oval just for the small boundaries, but I thought that might be a little bit unfair. So I've decided to go with uh, Edge Baston instead. Um, I was not paying any attention to the toss. What are we doing? We decided to bowl, which I actually don't necessarily mind. Um, I have no idea what the pitch is going to look like. As I said, was not paying any attention. Um, but I always prefer to chase as a general rule of thumb in... Uh, limited overs matches and I think we've got a fairly comfortable run chase on our hands um, we've got the spinner first up we're chasing 153 we are going to be fine I'm going to take as much time as I need um, because I'm determined to finish this innings as a not out batsman get that average up there <laughs> Oh no, that is unfortunate. That is terribly unfortunate. And we win by four wickets in the end. Oh God. Rollins gets player of the match for his four for 33. Um, yeah, not good. Not good at all. Ooh, this is interesting. Uh, we've been offered to play in the CPL. Um, is it going to let me pick a team? Or is it I just have to either accept or decline? I'm going to accept because I don't actually know who the team is. Well, if I go here, is it going to tell me? The Amazon Warriors. I don't mind that. Uh, let's have a look at their team. They've got some good players, players I recognise. I like the look of it. Um, but yeah, we're now playing Essex. I don't know where we're playing. At the SCG. So they're also at the SCG. So we're going to have to change that again. Okay, I decided to play at the Oval in the end, guys. Um, they've got... Jeez, Alastair Cook's in here. Completely forgot about him. Simon Harmer, he's been in and around the South Africa side in my cricket captain series. He's not in and around the side, but he was in the team. I then dropped him because he was 38 years old and not very good. Um, but they had a few other names that I recognised as well. So we've won the toss. I wouldn't mind batting first, if we can. We're going to bowl. That's fine. It's totally fine. I'm in a real good mood after getting out on a second ball duck. Uh, when I said I wanted to finish as the night out batsman, 
I'm in a perfectly fine mood. Anyway, let's see what we're going to be dealing with. Got them under 200, which I'm actually quite happy about. Good opening stand. Three for 180. Tommy Haynes is on 88. I promise, Tom, I'm not going to run you out. Um, in saying that, I probably shouldn't be making promises I can't keep. So we're going to leave that alone, first of all. I don't want to be nicking anything behind. Um, I've just decided that one day format, not for me. Uh, I'm going to be focusing on the test stuff in this video. The one day stuff, don't want to talk about it. It's, it's not great. Um, we're going to talk about the excellent first class form I've been in. Uh, I think I'm averaging about over 60. That's a nice shot. So we are off the mark in this match and the over three for 186, I think. 184. What three for 184? I was getting ahead of myself. Tommy Haynes saw through a maiden up the other end. We're gonna let that go. There's no rush. Um, I don't actually know what day we're on, which I should probably look that up in a minute. We are on the morning of day two, and we are probably in the lead at this point. We're in the lead by one run. So essentially, not a lot of pressure on our shoulders. We can just play freely. There's no target on our back. This is, this is the last opportunity for us to score some runs at first class level before going into the test squad. No, I don't want to run that. Um, yeah, this is the last opportunity for us to score some runs before going to the test team. Uh, we do have the T20 Blast. Uh, after this match, I believe, or there might be some more one-day stuff. I do not remember. Um, but the Ashes are coming soon. They are not far away. Just notice that we've lost Haynes. Uh, I had nothing to do with it. So if it is a run out, um, it was not me. He got caught and bowled by Harmer, who I was talking a bit of smack of in the intro. So that's a little bit awkward. Um... So he's probably up the other end bowling. Yep. No, I wanted to run it, but probably best that I don't. Mid wicket is open. Uh, they've blocked off the offside. So down the ground or mid wicket. Yep. If he bowls it slightly straight, which he does. They come back for two. Oli Carter up the other end, not doing a great deal. But he just has got in, and that is through the gap on the offside, and that might go for four. And it has. Our second boundary of the innings, not doing too bad to begin. And now we're facing Harmer. Now there's a big gap behind point, but I do not choose. I do not feel brave enough to play it back there. They've blocked off the gap now, so I'm thinking down the ground is an option. They've got a deep mid-off in place. That is close to the stumps. I should not be leaving that. All right. Point is now available again. But I'm thinking I should go down the ground. Which is what I do. We'll get the single. We'll get off strike. There's a nice gap on the offside staring at me. And I go for it. And I get it. It is not going to be a boundary. Actually, it is going to be a boundary. So that was a nice result for us. The boundary is still open for us. There's also a little gap at point. But it's the same place as the last delivery. I haven't timed it as well. It's just going to be the two. If he pitches it up, I'm going to go down the ground. It's in the same gap again. He's pitching it a little bit wide for me to go down the ground, but we'll only take the two. Rosington, the wicketkeeper, has been a feature in my cricket captain series so far. Eight off the over so far. They've finally blocked up the offside. We're going to let that go. And that ball goes down the ground. That should be four. 
And it is four for 208 with one ball to going in the 53rd over. It's another good shot down the ground. We've scored a lot of our runs down the ground so far uh, in this innings. I wouldn't mind looking at the... Um, at the big wheel in a second. Let's have a, actually let's have a look at that now while I think of it. Uh, review, big wheel for Mr. Smudge. So yeah, cover and straight is basically where we've been scoring our runs. We had that one shot on the leg side um, for two. But yeah, those are, been our strong scoring areas so far in this innings with not a lot of runs scored behind the wicket. Harmer is finally back on. He went away for a little bit. Either that or just Card has been taking the majority of his balls being faced, which is interesting. Could go through point. Suddenly the run rate is below four. We were cruising above four for quite a while, but that's sort of it's drifted now, but we're surviving, which is the important thing to emphasize at the end of the day. There we go, we just had to find a boundary. I knew if I stepped across my stumps and flicked it to the leg side, there wouldn't be a fielder there. So it was a risk worth taking. As you can see, we're a long way across in that replay. And they've put a man back straight away. That's okay, we've broken the seal. That's in the gap. That will be at least two, if not four. It's gonna be four. Gets us to 36. It's in the gap again. We're going to get at least two again. Although it is a shortish boundary and it's going to be four more. So an expensive over this one. 12 off it and suddenly we're on 40. I really just want to get through to the end of this over so we'll just play a defensive stroke. But we're doing well. We're doing well. We're surviving. Harmer's doing Harmer things up the other end and now we've got Critchley who admittedly has been expensive. There's a gap through mid-wicket. And I go a little bit straighter than I intended, but it's gonna go for four. Doing well just to survive at the moment. Critchley's bowling some good balls. I did not see the fielder there, I will be honest, and I'm surprised that they haven't catched it. If he bowls it kind of straight, I'm just going to flick it through to the leg side. Not straight enough. Sorry, too straight is what I'm trying to say. They seem to be going with double spin at the moment. Harmer at one end, Critchley at the other. Which, admittedly, I do not like. Because facing spin is a lot tougher than facing pace, in my opinion. But we're getting through. We're getting through, we're doing a job. I always thought of Critchley as more of a part-timer, whereas Harmer's, that's a terrible delivery. Harmer's definitely the more of the full-time spinner. Ooh, there's an edge. No short leg in place, or oh, sorry, silly mid-off. There's the short leg right there. Um, I was trying to flick it around the corner, but I'm not timing it at all. Now Carter is gone, Garten is in. The end of another over. Finally some fast bowling. I could not wait for us to get rid of the spinners. <laughs> We've pumped it to mid off for a dot ball. Okay, Critchley is back on. They took Harmer out, but they've still got Critchley. That's in the gap. It's 
It's not gone to the rope. We're going to get three, and that will be the half century. We've had to battle for it, but we've done it fairly comfortably. Not fairly comfortably, but you know, you know what I mean? But that's going to do it for today, guys. I am tired. It's late at night. I'm going to pick this up tomorrow. Um, as I am on uni break, I've not got a lot of stuff to do at the moment. And that has hit me in the head. Um, so thank you for watching up until this point, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, leave a comment telling me what your favorite bit of it was. Um, I look forward to chatting to you guys soon. And until then, I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.